Offering the greatest number of inputs and outputs available on the market, Goliath is the result of Antelope's 20 plus years of experience in digital audio, innovative clocking technologies and analog circuit design. Connect via blazing fast Thunderbolt or USB. Goliath houses a total of 36 analog ins and 32 analog outs. It also comes with an array of hardware based audio effects, including vintage guitar amps and cabs, aura verb reverb, legendary EQ and compressor emulations, plus our world renowned acoustically focused clocking technology. To get things started, let's check what's in the box one mains power cable, one USB cable, your Goliath device a warranty card, and the device manual. In this part of the video, we'll briefly show and explain how to download and install the control panels and drivers. For more information and detailed step-by-step -step guide, check the videos listed in the description box below this video. Connect the mains power cable, USB or TB cable, monitor cables, line, mic or instrument inputs, and or outboard gear on the insert points. Navigate to antelopeaudio.com Go to the product page for your device and click on the Downloads tab. Download the appropriate driver and launcher app for your operating system. For Mac computers, start the launcher. This will download and install the control panel. For Windows, install and then start the launcher. Now install the driver. Note that it's advisable to always run the control panel from the launcher app in order to be sure you're always up to date. Now that we have installed the driver and control panel, the device needs to be activated. Start the launcher and this will in turn start the control panel. You will be taken to an activation screen. Either fill out the required information or, if you already have a My Antelope account, click on the Use Existing Antelope ID and enter your ID and password. On the next window, fill out the required fields and click Done. Also, note if you're just creating a new account, you'll receive an activation link in your email. If it doesn't appear in your inbox, please check your spam and junk folder. To start using your Goliath, it's helpful to know some basic knowledge about the device. In the routing matrix, you'll see that there are different lines. Each of these lines represent all the input and output channels of the device. The lines USB Play, TB Play, USB Rec and TB Rec represent the actual outputs and inputs of your DAW and your computer depending on whether you're using USB or Thunderbolt as a connection. Having said this, you should treat the USB and Thunderbolt play channels as the outputs of your DAW, and the USB and Thunderbolt rec channels as the inputs of your DAW. Every input you route to the USB or Thunderbolt rec channels will be available for recording in your DAW. For example, you have a guitar plugged into preamp 1, Change the input type to high Z mode. Drag and drop preamp channel 1 to USB or Thunderbolt Rec channel 1. Change the input of the audio track in your DAW to input 1. Now you can record the signal. Please note that every DAW, including your operating system sounds, assigns its main outputs to USB or Thunderbolt play channels 1 and 2. To be able to listen to the output of your DAW or operating system through your monitors, drag USB or Thunderbolt play channels 1 and 2 to monitor 1 and 2. You can assign individual outputs on every different channel in your DAW. The mix channels represent the inputs and outputs of the internal software mixers. The Goliath has four internal software mixers and all of them have 32 channels available. You can route any signal from the FROM section to the inputs of the software mixers. You can use the software mixers for various scenarios, headphone submixers for performers, mixing sessions and adding reverb to tracks. The AFX in and outs represent the actual inputs and outputs of the AFX. The FPG AFX provide the authentic sound and feel of their legendary hardware inspirations. This is why their routing should be handled exactly like its hardware equivalent. There are 16 AFX channels available simultaneously. For example, route one of the preamp channels from the from section to one of the AFX in channels on the to section. That way you're sending the signal to the input of the effect, the same way as you would do on a hardware unit. 
Now go to the AFX tab of the control panel and select one or more of the AFX. After selecting an effect, all you need to do is route its output, located in the FROM section of the routing matrix, either to the USB or TB rec channel for recording, to the internal mixers, or to headphone 1, headphone 2, or the monitors of the device for monitoring. You can use the AFX in different scenarios, monitoring, recording, or mixing and printing with the AFX. To mix with the AFX and software mixers of the Goliath, all you have to do is the following. Assign different outputs to every audio channel in your DAW session. Choose which 16 of them you would need to process with AFX. Route the 16 desired USB or Thunderbolt play channels for processing to the AFX in channels. Route the rest of the USB or Thunderbolt play channels to the internal mixer of the Goliath, mix 1, 2, 3 or 4. After selecting your desired AFX, route the AFX out to the software mixers of mix 1, 2, 3 or 4. To monitor the signal, route mix 1, 2, 3 or 4 to headphone 1 or 2, or monitor outs. The Goliath also includes two insert points. These points are situated right before the AD conversion for preamp inputs 1 and 2. You can connect your favourite outboard gear like compressors or EQs with Y cables, as you would do on a mixing desk. The preamps of the Goliath can be set to three different modes. High Z, this mode is designed for guitars and bass guitars that require a high impedance input. Line, in this mode the preamp works as a standard line input, ideal for synths, outboard equipment and keyboards, and mic, which is for microphones. The preamps also feature the following available options. Phantom power, plus 48 volts for condenser microphones that need external power. Phase reverse, changing the polarity by 180 degrees. And stereo link, which links two mono channels to make a stereo one. The Goliath, with its plethora of connectivity options, is an incredibly versatile audio interface, operating as the crucial centerpiece of your studio setup either with analog or digital devices for recording, converting, clocking and monitoring. <laughs>